This is the very last slide in our 96 slide shotgun histology series. So I guess I should be very happy because it uh, represents the end of two weeks of day and night hard work. But I'm not happy, I'm very sad because I've enjoyed making these uh, series so much. This has been one of the greatest joys of my life and the most fun. And at my age, I guess this kind of thing can be considered fun. If you have watched all 96 movies, you have wasted about eight hours of your life. But uh, true to the philosophy of shotgun histology, I don't think there could be any part of the human body that somebody could throw at you and you don't know the name of the cell or the structure or the tissue. And that was my purpose because remember, when you shoot a shotgun, you don't miss anything. So for those of you who just wanted to review histology or to learn histology or to correlate it better with a histopathology as a review or primary learning, this has been my purpose other than the fact that I was really, really dying to have some fun before I move on to bigger and better things. So let's do uh, slide number 96, sympathetic ganglia. Like the dorsal root ganglia, you could see a lot of large cells, and you can already guess that these are neurons. In contrast to the neurons of the dorsal root ganglia, however, these are probably better classified as multipolar rather than pseudo-unipolar. And uh, in uh, similarity to the dorsal root ganglia, the uh, satellite cells that surround these uh, neurons, like here and here, and here are also uh, probably modified Schwann cells, and they are also called satellite cells. And basically, that's the overwhelming uh, pattern of a dorsal of a sympathetic ganglia. You have multipolar uh, neurons surrounded by satellite cells. Here's the neuron. Here's the neuron. Here's the neuron. Nucleus is a little bit off to the side. You can see some nissel substance. You can see a nucleolus. Here we cut it in such a way that you don't see much of the nucleus even, but there's a lot of nissel substance. Almost all the rest of these smaller spindly cells are Schwann cells, either as the satellite or the direct protective cells of these ganglion cells, or as part of the nerves that are coming in or out uh, every which way. Uh, I really don't think there's anything else we could say about this that uh, would be um, new to you because no matter where we happen to zap in, we're going to see nothing but multipolar neurons and Schwann cells and modified Schwann cells called satellite cells surrounding these neurons. And thank you very much for bearing with me for 96 slides, probably about approximately eight hours and I hope it's been at least half as much fun for you as it has been for me. And I thank you very much.